Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Airgun Expo Day 4. Uh, before we get started, I just want to make sure that on the table we got everything recording uh, that we need to be recording. We are live, folks. We are live. Awesome. So I apologize. We're running a little late today. Uh, yesterday, we had a tremendously awesome day. Uh, we did. We got a lot done. Yeah, it was windy. And this is windy, but it was windier, like a whole lot more. Uh, I, I don't know. I think you call that maybe like hurricane weather yesterday. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So we yeah. decided to do all the studio stuff, which then leaves us two full days of coming out here and shooting whatever we want. And we still have a bunch of stuff from our sponsors to, to kind of get in and shoot which is pretty cool because yeah. now we could just get out here and shoot all day. And, and let's thank our sponsors. Okay. Air right. Guns of Arizona. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And of course, Gateway to Air Guns, the other major sponsor here. And our guys over at Predator, uh, Predator. and Joe. You know, Joe, I hope you're watching because today <laughs> we were going to do a drawing for a free SWA. And I think I think his name, he, we, we pulled, pulled his, his name, name but, but the problem was. You got to be present gotta to win. got to be present to win. Sorry, so, Joe. Sorry, Joe. Um, yeah, we'll have to, I don't know, maybe he'll win the next time. Well, maybe he'll get a t-shirt or something. Uh, there you we know. go. We'll do know. something like that for you, Joe. But today we thought, because it's still windy, and we don't want to try and shoot precision in the wind. Nah. But we got big bore guns. Yeah, and they don't care about the wind. They don't care. And this is bonus. This is just, we're going to come out here and have some fun. We got two big bore guns to show you. We've got the hammer, and we've got the western big bore. Do I have that right, Larry? West. Western Big Bore Bush, Bush buck. buck, and that's a say that, forty. Say that three times fast. No, thank you. It is a forty-five cal pushing seven hundred plus. Correct. The hammer is a fifty cal pushing six hundred plus. Right. And these guys, these guns, sorry, these guns are kind of very, very different in their styling. This yeah. is tactical and short. It's very cool, and the Bush Buck is a very traditional. Uh, wood stock. I mean, it's very, very cool stuff. Yeah. We're going to be shooting steel targets today. Uh, we're at 50 yards, just so you guys can know up front. And hear and, it. And hear it. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. We've done a little bit of testing this morning, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. There's some folks that have never shot the hammer, and we'll see if we can get them up here and do some shooting today. Uh, and I, I gosh, I shot the, the bush buck once at the AOA uh, right in their shop because they have like a 20 meter range with a trap that can actually take that hit. Yeah. Ooh. Impressive. It's an impressive uh, trap. But I've never shot it in the field, so I'm excited to shoot that. So yeah. let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this again, this is just a fun bonus segment while we wait for the wind to die down and we get to our other precision Let's stuff. talk about this Umarex gun. Umarex uh, sent us the hammer and thank you. They are also one of our sponsors here yep. at Air Gun Expo 21. Uh, we're going to shoot a, what, 510 grain? Yeah, I've got ammo from Hunter Supply. And this is, okay, so on the 50 cal side of things, just like if I say 45 that? cal, 45 cal could be a 452, 454, 457, 458. It could be all over the map. So when you say 50 cal, is it a point? 495 or is it five a point ten or? 510 or whatever? Yeah. This is a point 510. Yes. Okay, so when you're going to buy ammo for the hammer, you got to make sure, especially in the air gun world, if you buy 50 cal, it may be 0.495. Yeah. So make sure you're buying 0.4510, okay? Uh, excuse me, point, point five, <laughs> 0.510. One, oh. Uh, oh, goodness. Yes, <laughs> 0 0.510. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so this charges to 4,500 PSI, has a regulator, and if you see, we've got a hose hooked up, and the reason we're doing that is because you get two shots and then you gotta refill this bottle. And rather than run a generator and compressor and running back and forth all the time. Plus we're gonna have multiple people shooting it. We're just leaving it tethered. We that's like two really big bottles over there and it's regulated, so it's pushing uh, I don't know, I think this oper 3, operation PSI. Yeah, operational pressure is three thousand. So we've got this rigged up so that we don't have to go running back and forth. Yeah. Uh, when I do my video review of this gun, this is how I'm going to do it because it's the way to do it if you're going to do a lot of shooting and you got multiple people on right. on deck to shoot. So this is the way to get it done. This is the way to get it done, and I think this gun is going to impress some people. I, I think it will too. Yes. How much? This is like 900 bucks. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, and just so you guys know, you can look them up at umarexusa.com. We also have them at Airgun Pro Shop. So in 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 stock, okay, not pre-order. We have them in stock just so you guys know yeah. uh shipping next week it's um, it's an impressive machine i it mean is. it is probably one of or if not the lightest 
big bore, it is so it's easy to pack. What they've done is they've really created a pretty cool package. It is very it's very lightweight as comparatively. Short. The sh the length is what impresses me to get the power they get out of this. Right. Length is very very cool. Their valving system, which is patented, is very unique and uh, it works really well. I mean, it delivers the the power. It does. Now earlier today we were sighting this in, and I did a video with Eric and Angie. Be sure when she gets that edited and published, take a look at that video because we kind of go through some of the safety and operational side of things which I'm gonna do that as well. I don't wanna get bogged down in that today. I just right. wanna shoot the doggone thing. But I do wanna talk a, about a couple a couple important points that if you're looking at the hammer, you need to know. First of all, uh, it does have a similar effect, like if you have a revolver and you fire a firearm revolver, gas escapes from the front of the cylinder yeah. as the round goes out. And you out. don't put your palm on the cylinder yeah. of a revolver. Yeah. You don't grab the cylinders to support. You're, you're going to get stung. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. And in the similar way, this has, when the, when the magazine goes in, this in here. Yeah, you got to pull back the. There it is. There you go. Okay, you have a gap here. And while it seals up pretty well, it does have air escaping. So you never want to have any part of yourself in this area. It will bite you. Right. We'll get that. I'll air give hit. an. I'll give an example. Okay. <clears throat> and this is an example that will. Which. And right now it is not cocked. It's on safe. So. We're we're cool here. People will shoot like this in the field. You're holding the gun like this. But on the bench, a lot of people will, go like this and put their hand on the scope while they're looking and shoot the gun, that is where the hot, that's where the gases escape. You're gonna get stung. Yeah. So either put your hand back here, keep it up here, but try not to get it over yeah. the mag well. Yeah, do not, this is super important, guys. Super important, okay. and, and it's written on all of their literature, you know, but we, we just wanna state that too. Make sure you stay away from the mag well and you'll be fine and you'll have a great time with your hammer. Absolutely. Now. One of the things we, we did today as well, because stability is really important, uh, we grabbed this bipod. Where's Larry? He's back there playing in the truck. Larry, what's the name of this? Just turn your mic on. Just tell us what the name of this, uh, this bipod is. He's way back there. So that is an AccuTac. Okay. Uh, F, F class. Okay. So it's got a wider stance. Right. Very adjustable. All you have to do is pull the legs out. It'll go at 45 forward, 45 back. To release that, you just push a button and it retracts. All right, so and that is a solid platform. That I, is a great bipod. I will tell you, as we were setting everything up, we were shooting off bags and it's a little sort of not as stable as I wanted it. Yeah, a lot of canting going on. and. Yeah, I dropped, of course, use the M lock, which is very cool. I'm sure glad they put, went to M lock on everything. Grab, grab this, learn, let me borrow this, put it on here, and it is rock solid. I'm like, yeah. all right, this is how I want to shoot the hammer from now on. Yeah, I've got to buy these bipods. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, maybe get Angie up here. Yeah, because you know I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I think Travis is going to tap out <laughs> yeah, at yeah. this point. It's it's not my thing. Yeah, but you're going to help us with all the precision stuff. I'm going to let yeah. you tap out. Yeah. We're going to get Angie in here, which between me and Angie, she is the huntress among us. I like to hunt little things, but she Jump goes out there and diligently hunts big things. And I think she's going to really like this. So I'm going to walk her through, walk you guys through the process of getting this ready to shoot. And oh my gosh, is it cold. <laughs> and windy. <laughs> Woo! I have a correction. Chili, yes. Between you and I, yes, I am a huntress because yeah. hopefully you're a hunter. Yes. Aha, so <laughs> funny. All right. So let's go ahead and eject the mag first of all. So. To get the mag out, it's got to be, the bolt's got to be open. I cocked it. Okay. So there's a little switch here, right there. Yep. Now push it forward. There you go. One more time. There it is. And so, make sure you have the, um, the ham. <clears throat> this uh, thing here? Yeah, that thing. I, don't, I can't remember what the, what do you call that this thing? This is like an additional safety. So they have many different the safeties. The transportation screw. <laughs> yeah. When I go through my review, we're going to go through all of these different features and settings and safeties because this has got to be a super safe gun. There, there you go. go. Now, the cool thing about the hammer, it's multi-shot and it's self-indexing. So when you pull back the bolt to take your next shot, the magazine automatically shuttles over and then when you drive it home, you're ready to go. 
The other thing about the hammer is that it fires from the magazine. The mag is the breech. Okay, so there's no pellet pusher to go up. So when you take that out, the gun is safe. Safe. Yeah. So that is very, very cool as well. Remember, I'm going to keep telling you, don't get anywhere near this area, okay? Yes, sir. Now right. we're shooting the ATN Optic. I'm going to go ahead and power it on. The cool thing about the ATN Optic that I really like in a hunting situation, from the time I hit go to the time I have crosshairs to take a shot and record is less than 10 seconds. Rick, so that oh, is awesome. Can I say something? Yeah. Could you take the transportation screw all the way out of the gun? You can, but there's no place to store it. Put it in your pocket. I, 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 I've had the instance where actually when shooting it, it screws itself down. Okay. Well, it is now gone. All right, buddy. Okay. We ready? We are. Why don't you go ahead and check, make sure we're at the scope. I hit the button, but let's make sure we're good to go. Um, you will need to put the bolt forward and put it on fire. Yeah, and zoom I'm in. Zoom she in likes a to bit. zoom in that scope. And Make sure to hit the record. record button. There you go. Rick, and you're good on the that ear bolt. protection. You're, you feel uh, you know, I probably I'll be foul, but I'll do this. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. Everybody on camera. So, let's. Are you have the the camera four up, Sue? On yeah. the gong. On the gong. Yes. Okay. And, and by the way, this gun is not backyard friendly. <laughs> no, this is not at all. Don't fire it yet, makes Angie. Serious power. You're on safe, by the way, over here. Go ahead, push forward. All right, we're Ready? live. Oh, oh. that was awesome! <laughs> and Sweet. you drilled it right where you hit it last you know, time. It wasn't yep. as loud out in the wide open okay. here. Now all you do is like it pull is that at back. my house with a three second Push it forward. Oh my gosh, that is so easy. Yeah, did you see it index itself? Yeah, it's all yeah. In the back, the cock the thing is really really simple it oh. doesn't have a big hammer spring oh no the way they've done the valving it is very impressive how do you like the bipod with this i love it i love it that is pretty it looks i was really shooting comfortable it off the bag shoot earlier like and this is much better it's stable yes yes well that okay. gong took a serious it took beating a, a smack we all set to go again ready ears all set sue you ready go hold on hold on, hold on. Wait, Sue, I need a thumbs up from you that we're ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I nicked, I didn't hit it. You right hit the, winged it a little bit. You nicked yep, the lower left. I did. Boy, my ears are ringing a little bit. Your ears are ringing with <laughs> <laughs> It has definitely got some bark. Yes. All right. Anybody else want to give the hammer a shot? Cheryl? Oh, here Larry. comes Larry. Larry. Right on, on Larry. Larry. Way to man up. Oh, you've got some already. Okay. So I have not shot the hammer, so okay. I wanted a chance to do that. Okay. Uh, talked to Aiden. You know, he was yep. really responsible for a lot of the development on this. Yep. And last time I talked to him, they hadn't come out with it yet. Okay. So I'm anxious to say that I've shot it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull, the, pull that back. Okay, now we're gonna push this forward right here. Okay. And that lets you take your mag out. Go ahead and just pull it right out. There you go. And it's got a little picture on it, tells you which way the bullets go. I don't know if they can see that, but we can let Cheryl zoom in on it. Got it? All right. Do you you don't need to push it in, do you? Yeah, it just slides right in there. Now on the on the magazine, it's got a little dovetail there, as you see on the bottom, and that yes. guides you right in this little plate. It's got a safety plate and all kinds of cool stuff going on in there. Yeah, they they've thought just out like, several ways to make it. it really safe. Now when you're ready, it's on safe. When you're ready, just push that bolt forward. And right when here. you okay, when you go to shoot, press record. It's I'll, the button on the right. I'll get it right here. Yeah, and okay. the, there's a clock. There will be a clock okay. running in the top left so of the screen. So center of the crosshairs. Yep. So go ahead and look through the scope, and can you see the target okay? Yes. Okay, I'm going to hit record. You should see a little red light come up on the right-hand side. It's, or left-hand side. It's, or it's a clock shot, on the left. Numbers counting? Yep. Yep, I okay. see it. Okay, so on your right shooting finger, the safety is just above it. So right there, you feel it. Just push it forward. Okay, okay. it will... Have a push, so just so you're aware. Right, we're live. 
It will have a little bit of a bump. All right, we are ready? Yep. I hope I am. Oh, yes. oh, oh. Rick. We yes. broke the gong. That oh, was beautiful. <laughs> All right, pull the mag and I'll go fix it. That's right. Yep. So push that forward, pull it out. Go ahead. Make sure the mag's not in. We're out. We're the safe. Mag is out. Man. We're, we're on safe. Turn it off. What I'm do you think of that? I'm going to step back. Well, while they're doing that, what do you think of that? I like it. <laughs> it's very similar to the bush buck. You know, that's yep. my reference because I've shot that quite a bit. Uh, I was a little surprised at the puff of air I got in the face. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's to operate the magazine after. No, what happens is you've got exit holes right here. Uh, so okay. it's got venting holes and you have a tremendous amount of air that comes out of here. That's why I very specifically say keep everything away from this area. Right. So you want to make sure hey, that's just a safety the, thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> nice. yeah, if it came all the way target. apart. I mean, we are shooting 50 yards. It is AR 500 steel, uh, but it's 600 and some change yeah. per pound. It's not denting it, but it's yeah. sure rough on the sure. chains. Yeah. Yes. Show the index, the mag up close. Yeah. So, here's the mag. You have these little teeth here. So you have these little teeth here. So as you, when you cock the bolt, it's spring loaded. There's springs in here that grab these little pieces here. And when you cock the gun, it pushes it to the next part and then it's caught on these teeth. So it's self indexing, which is very, very cool. So you've got that very fast follow up shot. And when you cock this gun, you felt how easy it was to pull. Oh yeah, very it's, easy. There is no effort really to make this thing work. It's very cool. Yeah, so. it uses a very, very well-designed dump valve. <clears throat> okay, we're on our second shot there. All right. Okay, and what we'll want to do when you tell, when you're ready, I'm going to start the record on the ATM again. Okay, Just and the safety is push, on or yep, off? on right now, so push forward. There you go, sir. There we go. We're live. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let me know when you see numbers. I think I do. Okay, here we go. We'll see if we can break it again. Oh. Did it go under? Yeah, went under. Okay. So I was holding dead center, but went under. All right. But... Well, you don't always hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, anybody else want to give this a shot? Are we, are we all set? I'll give it, you know what, Rick? Oh, I'm no, gonna man up. sir. Tell me it isn't so. I'm gonna do it. Wow. He's going. Going against the grain. The side. Wow. Oh, no, no, I I'm am, not. I'm definitely he's staying on the, to the light dark bore side. side. <clears throat> but, okay. I'm here. You here? Safe. Tell me if you've still got numbers going. Tell me what? Tell me if you still have numbers. <laughs> there should be like a red clock. See if there's running. a red, red clock counting. It said I'll stop it and then start it again. In the left corner, top corner. Red clock. Oh, on the left? Yep. Yeah, yep, it's running. Okay, so I'll stop it. Okay. And then I'll, well, I'll start it again when you're ready. Okay. So it's on safe. You got to drive your bolt forward. Or your, there, your cocking handle forward. Okay. We're live and ready. Okay. Let me know that you have numbers. Are they counting? I got numbers. Okay, maybe shoot just just a little bit low of center on that on that bull because we are hitting just a little bit high on that plate. We're hitting so high. You see the the spots on the plate are, are a little bit high. Okay. So aim just maybe a little bit towards the bottom of the plate. Okay? You got it. Here we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> nice hit. Yeah, that was dead center. Okay, so I'm done. <laughs> Well, there's one shot. I got to take it. <laughs> uh, wow. That, that is some serious power. Um, I can't, you really have to experience how easy the cocking is. It's not even really cocking. It's, it's really, you're just cycling the mag. The, the way, I don't know how they do it. There's some, I don't know. We'll have to come up with a technical term of the voodoo, ge voodoo ge genie wizardry that goes on in some of these guns. We'll, we'll come up with something. 
But there's something going on that makes it super simple, and that is one of the things that makes this kind of a special product. Yeah. All right. You know what? Should I man up and just go without ears? No. No, you should put ears on. Put my ears on. You're, you're, you'll be ringing. You'll regret it. We're live. Oh, oh Lord! Ouch! Boy, that would have stung. <laughs> that have left a bruise. I mean, what's 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 funny to me is I don't know if you guys can hear the tanks refilling it between every shot. You know, it uses a ton of air. <laughs> what what I think is crazy. You know, cool. I'm gonna walk over there, and hopefully people can see on video that plate getting hit. That is a very thick, heavy plate. Yeah. It's not a little tin plate. That thing is... It's 3 it, AR-500. Yeah, it weighs several pounds. It's heavy. And it just slung it around that thing like a swing on a rope, you know? Uh, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive. I, I mean, I will tell you that shooting it off bags uh, is not as much fun as shooting off this, off this bipod. The bipod made it all worse. It actually makes it so much nicer to shoot this gun. Um, it would be expensive to just come out here and target shoot with it. Yeah. Um, but I am looking forward to hunting with this, especially with the AT and Optic. We'll have this footage. We're going to obviously do a bunch of editing when we're done, uh, but we'll incorporate this ATN footage with this because it's going to be awesome, guys, because you're going to see that impact right through the scope. And I tell you, too, and you'll probably see it in the video, that plate swung, swung all the way over the top, but the bullet was still going. It, it, it was, ricocheted, hit the bank, flew over the bank and kept roll. I don't know where it landed, but it still had a ton of energy. It's impressive what yeah. this thing does. It is serious power. Okay, I mean, we need to reset. So we're going to keep rolling. I'm going to bring Larry up here. Larry, why don't you grab the bush buck? I got to get this disconnected, Travis. Okay, my man. So hop out of the way here. I'm going to go ahead and get off stage. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that is one awesome machine. Larry, do you want to use the um, bipod on the bush buck? No, we'll use bags. Okay. It's not set up with the rail. Would you check the scope when you're done, make sure it's shut off? All right. Oh, man. What do we got there, Larry? Holy Whee! moly. Let's get, let's get around this side. and. That's some serious lead. Is that 45 cal? Yeah, 452. Okay. So you can go down to the reloading shop. Yeah. Do we need to Well, come going? on here. Yeah, no, let's talk no, Come on it. over. Just uh, get you on mic there. So, so uh, this is what we're shooting? This is what we're shooting. The <laughs> bore is .452. Okay. So you can go down to your local shop and buy oh, standard ball for your 45 oh, ACP oh, oh, and shoot it in this gun. Oh. This happens to be a 250 grain. Uh, and these are high arc hunters, 475 grain hollow points. So this Excuse is what we use for big game. All right. So uh, if you're wanting to do target shooting, we have a high arc hunter 365. All right. And it's a more conical shape, hollow point, and it will easily shoot three inch groups consistently at 250 yards. There Holy moly. And when we say we, when you say we, you're talking air guns of Arizona. So Correct. when you want to look, when we get this bush buck out and you're talking, well, you're talking about ammo and all of the accessories for that gun, and you want to buy that gun, it's www.airgunsofarizona.com. So Correct. this is a unique product that's uh, brought in by Precision Air Gun Distribution. It's not brought in. Well, it's actually it's manufactured, manufactured yes, sir. in Gilbert, Arizona. Okay. Now, if somebody is a dealer and wants to sell that, can they work with PAD to actually be yeah, a Precision dealer? Precision Air Gun Distribution can get it to you. Okay. So this gun is not only available for consumers to purchase, but if you're a dealer and want to carry a gun like this, you can right. get with you guys and you can actually stock and carry these guns too. And when I bring it out here, you're going to see the gray laminate. Yep. It also comes in a walnut stock. Okay. Those are all made by Boyd's. Okay. okay. So we manufacture everything else. Yeah, the SWA gun that we were shooting yesterday, that's got a Boyd stock. So 
Voyage Voyage is a great company. Yeah, yeah, they sure do. They do. All right. Well, we need a we need a big bag, and I'll let you go get the bush buck. All right. So we're going to be looking at a completely different style of gun here. Yeah, we're going to be uh, looking at a traditional. Right. Traditional looking. It's a traditional hunting rifle. Hunting rifle. Look. Yeah. So where the other one was very tactical, mm -hmm. AR-ish, this is the exact other direction. I really appreciate the less tactical, the more traditional. Uh, this is sort of a very, <laughs> yeah, I'm already loving it. Um, it's so pretty too. It is very, very pretty. All right, well, let's let get, me get it out of the way let, here. Let, let me uh, let Larry sit down here. Why don't you tell us how to make this thing work, Larry? All right. Unfortunately, the bolts on the opposite side okay, of the I'm camera. Gonna, I'm gonna switch sides with you here. Okay. All right. But as I pointed out, you can shoot two different weights of projectiles. So if you're shooting the lighter projectile, you're going to go to the first cock. It's a two position bolt. And then if you're gonna shoot the big boy, which is what we're gonna shoot today, you go to full cock. Now this, I will say, is harder to cock than the uh, hammer, because you're actually compressing the spring. hammer spring. This has got the traditional not, valving, right? This yeah. has got a traditional type of valve, hammer, hammer spring, hitting the valve um, type of a situation. It's a more like a, right. there's been a lot of guns built in this kind of way. Um, it, this is just a more traditional air gun. And, basically every consideration except it pushes 700 foot pounds <laughs> that's not traditional. yeah it can get up to 700 foot pounds yeah. so we're going to be shooting about 550 today okay so a lot of people ask where's the safety on this gun obviously the safety is always between the ears okay. but you carry this gun uncocked so you just hang on to the bolt release it carry it like that you get ready to shoot you pull the bolt back and you're ready to go I think I don't Joe. Know if you noticed or not, but it also has an adjustable cheek piece. You know who just, Joe just showed up, and I'm pretty sure he's trying to get in on that uh, have to be present to win uh, thing. And <laughs> okay. it's too late. Sorry, Joe. Yeah. It's too late, bro. What a bummer. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. So how do you load it? Okay. So it's just a traditional air gun type load. Pull it all the way back. Nice. You don't have to seat the bullet. You can okay. just set it in the tray. The bolt always pushes it into the bore to the same location every time. Okay. You don't have to worry about it shifting back and forth. Uh, and these are just traditional lead. Uh, well, that, you know, that's a good point. You probably don't want to try and run copper jacketed slugs or anything like no. this. No. Soft, soft lead, lead it is only. It's not made for that. It's soft lead only. Um, so if you've got a 45 ACP with a bunch of, you know, ball ammo, uh, you know, fully jacketed ammo, do not put that in this. Correct. Okay. Soft <clears throat> lead only. Right. Larry, what type of trigger does it have? It has a trigger that breaks at about four pounds. Perfect. Perfect so it hunting is a weight. hunting trigger. Yeah. Um, one of the things we didn't talk about okay. is the number of shots. All right. Which any big boar hunter or anybody thinking about it. That's going to be something foremost on their mind. So with this little dude here, you're going to get two shots accurately. And you need to know your gun because you're going to have to typically hold one mil higher for the second shot. And then we have a follow-up shot. So two on target. And if you walk up to the animal and you need to finish it off, you can still fire that third shot. If you go with the smaller projectile, you're going to get four shots on target. And you need to get to know your gun because it's not regulated. You know, we're dumping a lot of air. Do you have a gauge? Uh, no, there is no gauge on this. <clears throat> okay, so you just fill it. What's the fill pressure? 3,200. Okay, did you want to tether it or did you want to just shoot it? Let's go ahead and tether it. Okay, and then we'll set the rig. Let's uh, do this first though. Let's get this bullet out okay. of here. And I'm gonna lower. Okay. The bolt. And just Can this just open. pop off or unscrew? Yes, or? It's, a, Magnet. it's a little cold today, so it's got O rings. On. Okay, there it is. There we go. Are okay. you going to shoot the bone? Yeah, so I'm going to yes. move our tanks. Okay. 
and set it at 3200. Yes, sir, I will do that. We'll get these up here. All right. All right, we're at 3200, so you have a very large plenum cylinder <laughs> in a plenum. Yes, <laughs> you yes. should be set. <laughs> so we can take several right. shots. You want to go first? I'll do it first. Good, I'll put ears on. And then we need to talk about your hold. Okay. Which this gun was not sighted in for this bullet. I was shooting 365 grain at okay. targets. So you have to hold under on this. Okay. So you hold right on at 100, but let's get it on target. Helps if you flip up the scope caps. And what scope are you running? Uh, we're running an MTC okay. optics. So this is the... I think it's the Viper Pro Tactical. Yep, Viper Pro Tactical. Anything special about this scope that really makes it awesome for this gun, or is it just an awesome scope in general? It's just a good scope in okay. general. All right. You know, you've got an illuminated reticle if you need it when you're out hunting early and late. Uh, adjustable objective, which I just messed it up. <laughs> now it's focused again. Uh, one of the unique features about MTC is that if you click, you flip this little uh, rear piece up here. The, it's actually the eyepiece cover. You flip it up. It's got a magnifier on it. So you can look through it, and it magnifies what your scope is set on vertically. So that's kind of a unique feature. I like that, especially for us with like yes, yes, <laughs> all of us, all blind of us, four, guys, all of us four eyes. old guys. Yeah. yeah. So that's a big benefit, I think. I like that. And you know, it's got locking. The tactical has good locking uh, nuts on it. It rotates easy. It does a good job. You can hear the clicks. You can feel the clicks. All right, cool. So, all right. So we're gonna hold under. How right. many dots do you know? We're gonna be just about. We're gonna hold just a little under. You now you got your crosshair. Yep. There's three marks above yep. it. We're gonna hold that top mark just a little under the plate. Okay. So the third is just like at the bottom of the plate. Yep. On the second shot, we should be able to hold right. Well, no, we're tethered. So yeah, we, we should be. Place. Yeah, we'll be so, good. So third dot above the red above the crosshair put that the uh, on the bottom edge under the plate perfect so sounds good all right let me get my ears on well, you got to get a bullet in there and get her all loaded up oh yeah we probably ought to do we that. need to do that i took it out got a nice tray there so it drops in real easily just close the bolt and we're, we're live to go. hot everybody got their ears on all right here we go. Oh! <laughs> yeah, buddy. So you can see, it packs a punch. <laughs> All right. Uh, open the bolt, awesome. Larry, and I'm going to go out and fix the gong. Oh, it, oh, it fixed itself. Hey! Let's, All right. let's slide there it over. Go. Mike, run right. out there real quick and slide that. So the bolt is disengaged, and I'm real off clear. the rifle. Man, it hit it with some uh, authority, didn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, and we're not really pushing it to the limit. Sure. You can put a little more pressure in there, and you can... Uh, we have a solid nose, 458 grain instead of this 475. And and you're and, saying right now we're shooting at about the 500 foot-pound range? Yeah, a little over 500 today. Okay. Oh, man. So That baby cuts right through the wind, doesn't it? Like it's not even there. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> See, and that's the reason why we brought the big bores out this morning is because you know shooting those small bores in this wind would be no fun and wouldn't show off the guns at all but these big bores they just blow right through it like it's not even there right right yeah, it's impressive dude so you want to shoot it I'm, duh. <laughs> so you've got two marks hold the top mark just a little under the plate well we've got okay uh, let me look oh yeah 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 I got it so with, that's one of the features on okay. this particular scope, and a lot of scopes have it, but you can actually sight it in, and then if you really need to, you know, you can sight it in above the crosshairs, and that way you get a lot more elevation with the scope and not have to dial. 
I think I may hold it. I just need a little more. Oh, that's so much better. Just make sure the bill of your cap is up so it doesn't catch on the scope. Okay. That's always a rude awakening. Okay. I say that from experience. That's not bad. No. I was expecting it to be a little it's harder. It's a stiff but spring, bad. but easily yeah. done. And if you bring it rack real slow, it's fairly quiet in the woods too. That's uh, there's. Okay, so. When you're cocking some of these guns, it can be a little gritty and grindy and not feel so great. That was extremely smooth. So um, the machining that's going on to make this work is you can tell it's been done right. Yeah. It's a precision piece of it. Now, let's talk on that front. Because this is traditional built here in the U.S., it is going to have a higher price tag. What are we looking at retail for this gun? We're looking at sixteen ninety five. Okay. It's on sale right now. It's normally eighteen ninety five. Okay. I think it's a couple hundred bucks more if you want the walnut stock. Both of them have the adjustable cheek piece. It's nice, stippling. which I just keep it down, taking it in and out of the van. <clears throat> Our customers, well, we've shot javelina, mountain lion, bear, deer, elk. Uh, some of our customers. And the reason why it's named Bushbuck, first thing that this thing shot was a Bushbuck in Africa. But some of our customers have killed Cape Buffalo with this gun. It, you, it, well, let me shoot it, but I can tell you, feeling the gun, I love the way it feels. I love the precision uh, manufacturing that I'm, I'm getting that impression that this is a really nice piece of kit here. All right, ready? All I'm right, gonna, we're live. I want to feel it. Top line, just a little bit under. Yep. And that was just a nick. The trigger <laughs> broke. I got to do that again. The trigger broke far quicker than I expect. The, the trigger's, I don't, are you sure it's only four, or, uh, it's four pounds? It felt less than that to me. Yeah, we tried to tune it for four pounds because it is a hunting gun. Uh, that. You can shoot in big board competitions, but it's built for hunting. It surprised me. The trigger was, I, I instinctively ran the, bu the bullet up into the okay. breech. Uh, the, the bolt will seat it the same way every time. The trigger surprised me. Um, it was, uh, maybe I was expecting more of a two stage and a break or something. It's a single stage trigger. Single stage. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm ready for it now. I'm, right. I'm ready. We expect maybe. that thing to spin now. Yeah. Let's see if I can not nick it this time. Let's hit it dead center. We're live. Yeah, buddy. That's what we're talking about. That is really nice. Well, Joe, <laughs> since you didn't, you missed out on the drawing. Yeah, I had to work this morning. I'm you sorry. heard about the drawing, right, Joe? Uh -huh. You heard about the drawing? Yeah, I already got like three already. At we, we were giving away an SWA today. You won, but it was you had to be present to win. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. All right. Oh, sorry, Larry. And I intentionally didn't let Angie shoot it Why? so she could shoot it for the first time okay. on camera and give us her impression. So after Joe finishes here. I, I think I the... The experience actually holding the gun, uh, I, that felt really nice. I mean, it felt. Yeah, it's. I liked it. It's not even as sharp as a muzzle loader. It's very. It's, it's kind of a. a but it's a big, heavy gun. I mean, it is. Heavy, well, it's not that heavy, but it's got some weight to it. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Uh, but it, it really felt nice to shoot it. You ready to go, bro? I am ready. Uh, what's the hole? Right on this? Is uh, he'll nice? tell you. All right. No. There's. You got your crosshairs. Yep. Two lines above it. Hold just under that top line, because we're only shooting at 50 yards. Okay, so, so two lines above yeah. it, hold under the top line. Excuse me? Yep. Um, Joe, you're tethered. You cannot run off with it. Yeah, we're, we're connected. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put this on like a rocket and blast off. <laughs> <laughs> and how many grains is this? That's 475 grain hollow point. That's cool. not much. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> See what I can kill. 
All right, we're live. Stop flying just under the target. I'm sorry, say that again. Top line just under oh, just the under? plate. So it's still rising, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, may I killed that one. <laughs> that's nice. It's going to be a you little sure chewy, I'm though. I'm like, Rick, is that, you sure that's four pounds? Yeah, <laughs> it's lighter than four pounds, that's, dude. No, man. If it's, it's four nice pounds, and that's smooth. the smoothest four pounds I've ever shot. That, it is nope. very yeah. and crisp. Yeah, it's really so, nice. Yeah. Um, the, that one stage trigger kind of tricked me a little bit because I was expecting two stage, but it's that's a that is a very light four pounds, yeah. dude. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna is, need you to turn that off and de gas. Yeah, it just <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. That's clean. Jeez. Isn't that it, and sweet? yeah, that's not bad at all. The pushback isn't bad at all. Yeah. Not much so, kick on that, was there? No, it, yeah. I, just, I mean, all right. That's nice. Yeah. I'll, I want to point that. something out. Angie's I want to point something out real quick here. Switching out. Do you see this? Sling studs? Swivel studs. <laughs> so we can put a bipod, exactly. a, a, a sling. Right. This is, You could take this out, hunt and sling it and hike through and get to your spot or whatever. That shouldn't be too yep. much for prairie dogs, right? No, oh, no. not at all. Dogs, right? well, 800 yards out, be all right. And five at once. You pointed yeah, out the circle. <laughs> you pointed out the studs. There's actually two in the front. Yeah. So you can put the sling on one and put your bipod on the other. Very cool. So. We tried to think of most everything that a hunter would want. Uh, it, this it's is a hunting gun. It's a high-end hunting gun, uh, but it is very, you can tell, it's its nice. But that's sort of your niche, though. That's what Air Guns yeah. of Arizona does. I mean, they they have the middle high, the high market. That's what you guys focus on. And the equipment, it, it actually is worth what you're asking for. This is very, very nice. It'll kill anything in North America. Yeah. And most anything in Africa. Yeah. You ready? So. Yep. All right, Angie. Have you been looking forward to trying this? I have. I know you're a hunter, so. I've seen this a lot on YouTube, and um, yeah, I was intrigued, so. Okay. You having okay. it here? Sweet. Okay, so. How do you think, the, how was that for you to cock? Not bad. Not bad at all. It's smooth. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's smooth, and it, it's like distinctly not gritty or it's just really easy in yep. the sense of itself smooth it is and i seeded the pellet too <laughs> just our habit okay okay, okay. we are live again folks where's the safety he the went over safety that is right here is decocked <laughs> and then you just pull the bolt back and you're ready to go so the, okay so cool. you carry it I'm, uncocked yeah. if you're out in the field okay your hold, you're going to have two lines above the crosshairs. Hold the top line just a little bit under the plate. Because that bullet's still going up at that point. So. Two lines just under the plate? That's what you said? The top line, very top line on the crosshair. Yep. Just under the plate. Okay. Oh, nice. I oh, broke it. And you broke it. <laughs> I broke it. And I on broke that it note. yesterday <laughs> testing it. So that is super Bolt sweet. Bolt is open. Bolt's open. Man on the field. Okay. That I'm is go super ahead and sweet. Disconnect us. Super smooth. What do you think about the recoil? What would oh, you compare it, right it to? Not bad at all. How does it, it compare to your 270, for example? Um, you know, it's different when you're shooting at targets than when you're shooting at animals. And um, this just being, sh just shooting at targets, really not bad at all. I mean, t compared to my 270, yeah, my 270 is worse than that. Okay, there yeah. you go. 270 mm -hmm. would be sharper. Mm -hmm. And you're shooting this on bags, so you're going to get the maximum In recoil yep. Yep. into yep. the shoulder. and It's just a gentle push. It is more of a push than a hit than a hit. I was really impressed. I'm not going anywhere because I want to feel the weight of the gun. Okay. But I wait till Jeff gets out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it's hitting that target pretty hard. I change my change can't keep up with it. So are you holding under the target? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna shoot it? I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, Go we got Travis. it. Well, 
Well, there's I, two. I, it's good for two shots, right? It is. Well, I just yeah. it's you're still full because yeah, after full. she yeah, fought, well, she'll shoot it shot. and then I still have one more shot. Yeah. Can I shoot it again? <laughs> sure. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You could have hey, asked hey, the same hey, question. Now. Hey, give my ears back. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick it up now? Yeah, go ahead. If you're wondering why I have my hands in my pockets, I have my hand warmer in here. <laughs> nice. I'm from Arizona. Mark, man. I'm a desert rat. Nice. It's, beautiful. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's nice not bad today. at all. Yeah. It's, it's short a, weather from where I'm from. It's got a little oh, bit of weight. Because of the wind. <laughs> okay, watch. I do it right this time. <laughs> We're live. Oh, I broke it again. I think I really broke it this time. <laughs> Bolt open. Bolt open. Man, that's I'm a... nice. Thank it's you. Good to go. Yeah. Good job, Angie. Your turn. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Larry, thanks for bringing this out, man. Sure. Yeah. I hadn't really planned on it, but we brought the van so that. You know, well, if we decided to shoot something different, we could. I, I think I think people having, you know, well, I wish they could be here to experience it like we are, but uh -huh. experience it at least in this capacity, uh, getting just general knowledge about these different products and seeing people that have never shot it, put their hands on it, pull some triggers and go, wow, okay. And then talk, I think that's really cool. You know, more and more states are opening up the ability for people to go hunting. That's and true. Something like this is really like super flexible because you can hunt everything from predators to elk. I don't know if you can hunt elk with it or and, not, but I, you could kill one oh, if yeah, it's legal to do. Um, but it's. Uh, we killed this is several cool. elk with not this gun, but yeah. replicas of it. Yeah. Uh, on the um, reservation last year, they sent a game warden out with everyone because they wanted to observe whether yep. or not it was a clean kill. Yeah. Oh, and they were happy cool. with, I think it was five cow elk that we called out of the herds. That's very cool. And they were more than satisfied that it will do the job. Yeah. So it, it is, <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about the power uh, the, uh, that everybody's chasing. They gotta have power, gotta have 800 foot, 1,000 foot pounds. Well, you really don't. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, what you need is a solid performing piece of equipment that's accurate. That has a, that's accurate that has enough power. Because I don't know what the round balls of, of the Frontiermen's were shooting, but I don't think it was a thousand foot pounds. No. Uh, and they killed a lot of game. Yeah. They killed a lot of deer. A lot of buffalo. And a lot of stuff with round ball out of black powder muskets and all manner of things to put food on the table. And they did it very, very effectively. So you really don't need it. Now, if you want to go chase it, go get it. I'm not saying you shouldn't, okay? But don't think you have to have that. If this is pushing 500 foot pounds and you like the way it looks, and in your mind you're thinking, oh, I gotta have 800, so I gotta go get this gun. And... No, you really don't. Shot placement is key yeah. when you're hunting. Yeah, and we're tagging stuff at, with, and you can see on the target, you know, we're hitting kill zone easy. Yeah. I mean, kill zone easy. easy. And we're not working hard at it either. No, no, it's just, no, no. And everybody's doing it. Yeah, so. I mean, we're talking old guys like us, <laughs> women, Joe. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are you ready to give a shot? Yeah, let me grab some ears. Here, you cheat. Uh, yeah, we, got, we got plenty. We got plenty. Okay, like I said, this is an unregulated gun. So she held under. You're going to put the top crosshair right in the middle of it. Right in the middle of the plate? Yep. Okay. So that's holding up about one mil. So on the second shot, it shoots a little bit lower because it's expended a lot of the air. Okay. So two shots with a big bullet and a follow-up. Okay. If you then. would need it. So. so he's still holding under a little bit. He's just the same aim point? Nope. Or? He's going to take that very... Well, it's still under. You're yeah. correct. Yes. Yeah. So that top... Top mark, he's going to put that top mark above the reticle dead center. Right. Gotcha. Say that again? You take the top mark above the reticle. Uh huh. Because it's actually only got a couple little hashes. I, I see, the, have I a see the top on. hash and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the plate. Exactly. Yep. At 100 yards. I can do that. <laughs> you still have to hold under okay. with this gun. So. 
I think I'm going to hold it too. Yeah. Okay. It's just more comfortable. What that trigger, single stage, breaks very quickly. It's very light. Just give you a heads up on it. Okay. Pull up your hat, Bill, a little bit. Yeah, we there don't want to knock my hat off. We're going hot. Yep. Well, we're live. You know, that was the least amount of recoil that I felt in a big bore yet. It, it, I it wasn't this, actually <clears throat> that sharp. Yeah. It was more of a long it's push. A push. Yeah, this, that's very comfortable to shoot. Yes. It makes me actually feel a little better about doing it. <laughs> you know? We're going to get him converted. So you'd shoot more than one shot with us. I would. I'd probably do two, <laughs> maybe three. Yeah. And, and, it's really, and, it, and it's not really that. I have a hole. I told you about the hole I have in my right. eardrum. So noise gets in there and bad things happen. Um, so that's very, very impressive. So yeah, this is fantastic. Travis Gentle Big Boar, right? Tra yes, yeah, I like the Travis approved. Yeah. Cha -ching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, my wife could shoot this easily. Oh, yeah. No, and she's a she's little, you know, but it's, it's I've had kids shoot. This. Yeah, it's it's not it's not scary. Yeah, no. Yeah. What did you think of the trigger? The trigger was fantastic. Actually, you know what I thought was pretty cool was cocking it using a traditional valve. How easy it was to cock it. Yeah. Yeah, because most of the time with these big boards, you got the you know you're mm -hmm. pulling back a 80 yeah. pound spring, but this really was. It's not as easy as the hammer, but. You're well, yeah. actually pulling against the yeah, spring you're not, here. Yeah. yeah, the hammer, you're really not pulling against the spring so much. but Right, yeah. it's more like the day state electronic guns. Yeah, yeah. so this... this uh, two different, two different totally styles, different. I both like, very effective. I love effective. the look, too. I love the look. Yeah. Both, really both very effective in a hunting situation. They both have proven themselves, but different strokes for different folks, right? Right. And can, at different price points, all of those things. You know, there's so many options that exist. I'm glad we're able to show you guys just some of them. We have a question. Have any of you been scope kissed by these big boards? I don't think you could by this one. I haven't. No. <clears throat> um, and I guess that's because uh, I've just known better to put my eye right up against the scope. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I have not. I, I have had they... it hit the bill of yeah, my hat. Yeah, push your head back. Because of the scope caps on here. Yeah. I'll get it down a little bit and it'll push your hat back. But yeah. it, doesn't hurt. I don't think it's, I don't think this what could kiss you. It, no. uh, I don't, yeah. I mean, I, it, I mean, if your eye was that far from it, maybe. But, but I it, it's more of a push, though. It's not really a snap back where well, they're it's going to. about big, any big bore. I, I haven't, I haven't been kissed by a big bore. And I my mic was on mute, know. so the question wasn't heard. I don't think. Oh, so the 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 question was, have you ever been scope kissed by a big bore? I personally haven't. I've never um, been scope kissed by anything. No. Ever. <laughs> no, nope, me either. I avoid that scope in my eye at all. Yeah, so there we go. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. We're going to get reset for our next segment, which is going to be brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona. We're going to take a look at the Evol. And oh, I think yeah. even, though we've got, even though we've got a little wind, it's died down enough, that 30 should be able to buck what we got oh, yeah. going on here. Yeah, so it's a 90. We'll do 100 90. this time. Yeah, we'll be all right. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for now. Uh, we're at Arrogant Expo, day four. It's just range day all day. Tomorrow's range day all day, too. And so stay with us. We've got a lot of cool live content brought to you by Gateways to Air... Gateways... Gateway, Gateway to Airgun. One gate. <laughs> Let me try it again. Brought to you by Gateway to Airguns. Airguns of oh, Arizona. <laughs> Predator Pellets. Predator International. And me. No, just kidding. All right. <laughs> you guys join us here in a little bit. And again, thank you guys for watching. See ya.